everyone, it's Hannah. Today I'm making a video on how I prepare my bunny's rabbit cage. But before I get into that, I just want to tell you guys some great news. So today I got two subscribers. Well, I noticed that I got two subscribers. Um, so I noticed that it was by Cute Georgie, and she subscribed, and the, like that's like amazing. Because when I first started my channel, I had no idea if I was going to get like any subscribers outside of my family and friends. Um, my first subscriber was by my best friend, Bethany Dodd. Um, but yeah, so Cute Georgie subscribed to me, and I have seen her channel, and her channel is really great, and you should check it out. Um, and hopefully subscribe to her channel too. But anyway, back to the video. So yeah, today is how I prepare Periwinkle's litter box. So every morning this is kind of what I have to work with. Um, I don't have his hay rack anywhere right now. But I'm, but yeah, at the, at, in the afternoon I take down the hay rack and I put the hay in his litter box just so that it's ready in the morning. And, um, there's a couple of poops, but most of them are, like, is underneath it all. And as you can see, it's, like, really yellow right there. That's, like, all pee. But, yeah, but I found out that Periwinkle does not like to pee or poo on fleece. So ever since I put in that fleece blanket... He's been doing amazing with litter box training. Like, I don't know. He used to be horrible, and that was partially because he's not neutered. Um, and it's hard to, like, litter box train a uh, not neutered rabbit. Um, I never neutered him because I don't really have the money, and my parents don't really want to do it. Um, but, yeah, I, I just... I was fine with cleaning up the cage. I didn't really care that much. But today, I literally noticed that there was no pee outside of the litter box. And there was only nine poops outside of the litter box. Usually, well, usually there's around 50 to 100. Like, l literally, 50 to 100. Crazy. It's so much poo, I didn't even know rabbits poo that much. And he's so tiny. So, it seemed like amazing that now there's only like nine poops outside of the cage. So, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so every single day I have to change out his litter box. And I'm going to go out to the trash can to dump this out. There's our trash can. Alright, sorry you guys. Alright, so this is the newspaper that is put down. It's also got some paper towels in the background, but, and it is just, it is soaking wet. You probably can't tell, because my camera is not very good, oh my goodness. It is yellow at the very bottom of all the layers that I put in, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm putting that down. And, um, by the way, whenever you're doing this, I, I always wash my hands, of course. I would, like, never be touching a bunny's poo, of course. And then if I have any leftovers, just shake it out. Okay. So now that is finished. Gross. I know. Gross. Um, I like to smell it and, like, see if it smells very bad. And if it smells very bad, which is usually every time. Um, yeah, that smells horrible. Ugh. I will take um, this. This is not Windex. This is just a spray bottle filled with vinegar water, and you should always use this for your bunny because vinegar water is completely safe for bunnies, and it's just half vinegar, half vinegar, and half water. And then I just kind of spray it in, and it really helps to like sanitize and clean things. Okay, that spray bottle is not very good, by the way. But yeah, so now that is like that, and then I just take. Paper towel. This is hard with one hand, by the way. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Switch your hands. Okay. So then I just wipe it up. This is hard. Oh my goodness. Well, it's hard. It's not usually this hard. It's hard because I'm using one hand. 
I'm just like tired of setting up my camera. It's so annoying. Very sorry about this. <laughs> okay, so that is all wiped up now. And um, now I'll usually grab paper towels and um, newspaper. And I usually have to get like a ton of paper towels um, just to kind of make it thick enough so that it'll really absorb all the pee. Super annoying though. Okay, I am going to set up the camera for this because it's hard to do this. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. I get about like two of these rectangles and I just put it in. And I do this over and over and over. And oh my goodness. There's like, by the end of the day, there's so much. Not by the end of the day. By the time I'm done. Um, so I usually put her put in around like six layers. I'm not actually sure how many layers I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to make it thick right now. So if I do over six, that's fine. <laughs> and I'm gonna do one more. Okay. This seems good. This is good. Okay, and then once I'm done putting in all of that, I go over and I grab a sheet of newspaper and I just place it on top of it. So that it's like that. And then once I do that, um, we have this. So this is... Um, KT's Clean and Cozy Small Pet Bedding Tahitian Vanilla? I can't say that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it expands three times. I'm not sure how much this costs, but we got it at Pet Supplies Plus. Got like this deal if you get three, you get like, I don't know. It was a deal if you got three of something, you got a deal. My dad bought it. It was originally for our rats. But now we don't have rats anymore, and now we use it for the bunnies, and it is scented vanilla. It's not a strong scent at all, um, because you should not give, like, strong scents to bunnies. It's a very light scent, and it smells very good. Um, and yeah, it's made for bunnies, but I'll show you what it looks like. It is super soft. And it's very clean. And it's super fluffy too. Like I love it. It's so nice. Um. This is hard. One handed. Look at me go. Look at me go. I'm awesome. So, yeah, that's what I do, um, and I'm not going to show you how I refill the hay rack, because I'm sure you guys already know how to fill up a hay rack, um, but yeah, so this is just what I do to prepare my bunny's litter box, and um, you, um, we do use this kind of bedding and newspaper, which does not, it's not like very good litter, like it doesn't last very long. Like, I have to change it every day. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get some Care Fresh soon now from Pet Supplies Plus. But, yeah, we don't have that right now because we still have this and we're still kind of using it up. But, yeah, so this is what I do for my bunny's litter box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, like and leave a comment if you want to, like, tell me anything. And subscribe to my channel, please, 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 please. And also check out Cute Georgie's um, channel because that's a great channel. I like her channel. Um, she's trying to get up to 50 subscribers. So so far she has 48. We only need like two more. So maybe you, or if you have a brother or 
some sibling or friend or something like that, tell them to subscribe to Cute Georgie's channel because she has a great channel, like I said. Thumbs up. That's a thumbs up. Okay. So, I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Bye.